Hey, listen, do you want to travel with your own coffee kit? We'll show you how here on Bean Basics. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics on the Road with Bob and Michelle. Hey, listen, today we're coming to you from Galveston, Texas. We're coming from the Mermaid House. Anyway, all of you know that Michelle and I like to travel a lot. And what we want to talk to you about today is our essential coffee kit. Now, by essential, what we're looking to do is get by for two or three days, maybe four days, either on domestic travel like this or on international travel when we go see our coffee farms, right? So we want to talk to you about what we bring. A lot of you already know that we like the Narita, and this works both internationally and domestically, and we bring our own hot water kettle. And inside, we always store our coffee, right? And some might consider this sinful, but we pre-grind our coffee ahead of time. And we bring enough coffee to get us through two, three, four days. What we're really looking to do is to have a couple of cups of coffee in the morning before we go out and go exploring, right? So uh, when we travel, we like to go places and we like to visit other cafes, right? And we were just in New Orleans just before we got to Galveston and we found a cute little coffee concept called the French truck. Would recommend it if you're ever in New Orleans. And so much of that discovery contributes so much to Big D Coffee. The other thing that we consider essential is a travel mug. Now we always travel with our own water and we always travel with our own mug so that we can refill. We also do buy bottled water along the way, particularly on international travel, because we're not always confident of the source and the sourcing on water. And we talk about water filtration on the Narita episode also. Uh, we also like it because bottled water, we can get it spring water, so it has some of those minerals, which we like when we're brewing coffee. And also, they come in these 500 mils, and we can keep our proportions correct. Inside here, of course, we can uh, bring our coffee filters, and Michelle loves stevia with her coffee. I completely disagree on that <laughs> idea and that concept, uh, but she doesn't. <laughs> and you know how it's best to serve coffee? It's best to serve coffee exactly the way you like it. Now, I, I mentioned that we bring it pre-ground. Uh, you can bring your own hand grinder. And even though Michelle and I are really into fresh coffee, hand grinding our coffee first thing in the morning is never that exciting to us. So we don't really do that. And it's just one extra thing to bring. The other thing that we don't bring is a scale, and I have an episode on how not to bring your scale and still get the ratio of 30 grams of coffee and 500 mils of water just right. And we've investigated a lot of ideas, like pop-up brew baskets, right? This one, of course, worries me because I worry about flavor transfer from that silicone. There's all manner of them. I've tested probably a dozen of these and you know what's easier for me is just to grab the brew basket from my V60 and use the, um, the travel mug as the actual decanter. And it's that simple. Now, we use the Hario V60. Uh, it could be a Kalita. It could be a Melita. It's all the same idea. So you can see we can get a pretty compact set uh, of items to bring along. doesn't take that much room in the suitcase and we're guaranteed two cups of coffee each every morning for two, three, four days. Now a lot of times when we travel we're at an Airbnb like this and there's a promise of a coffee maker and this Airbnb had a, a quality coffee maker and it was in good shape because sometimes you can get to them and you'll find them to be dirty or you don't have any filters. We have an episode on what to do with that uh, there's all manner of things that can happen or go wrong in that situation. And definitely, definitely, we have never been in a hotel where we like the coffee, right? And so this is our insurance package. This is our essential coffee travel kit. Okay, well, we hope this helps you with your travel. 
If you have an idea, go ahead and leave that thought down below. If you disagree, you can let us know that too. We hope you subscribe. And I have this one thing I want to leave you with. When you love the world, the world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.